Hey fellas, Bill here with Prairie Pistons. A uh, long time no see, I think to say the least. The last time I made a video was back in July. So it's been like a good five months or so. Obviously there's snow on the ground now. Uh, I just want to start this video by saying thanks a lot for the thousand subscribers. It's something I wanted to hit from the, from the get-go. I always said road to 1K, so it's pretty sweet finally being here. So yeah, thanks a lot to everyone, you guys commenting, liking, really appreciate all that stuff. But yeah, let's get into the video. So you can see behind me the OBS, she got her new boots on her. Had these actually since August, so I've put around 10,000 clicks on. I'm gonna do a rotation here soon, so that'd be a good idea. So now I actually have like a kind of a sense of what these tires are like. Guys, give you guys an honest opinion of what I think of them. And just kind of want to show you guys the fitment and everything like that. So I'll start off by just kind of showing you guys the side profile, how the truck sits and everything. I say it's leveled. Uh, it's not your typical leveling kit, but it's got an extra leaf in the back and the guy before me cranked up the keys pretty good in the front so it sits pretty damn near level just a tiny bit of rake but it's kind of what i like for just i do pull the odd little thing so I'd rather have that than squatted that's for sure now uh, with the torsion keys cranked up i don't find it rides too bad but i'm 21 i'm not 50 or anything i'll show you guys a few different angles so you have an idea what it kind of fits like so these are 285 70 17 goodyear dare tracks on a 17 by 9 uh, wheel with a, i think it's around a plus one offset so nothing crazy on the stance it's kind of just a bit more than the factory it's basically what i wanted i use this truck for work and a bunch of stuff i'm on gravel all the time so i don't need 12 wides on or anything and like i said it's leveled so you're kind of limited on how wide you go yeah i think it looks pretty good in the front these trucks have a nice taper so i mean it always looks better in the front but in the back everything's kept in the wheel well pretty nice I'll show you guys turning radius wise how close it is front and back. So that's kind of as close as it gets in the front once you get past the valence there, you're all good. I mean, if you had to, you could trim that, no problem, just plastic. In the back, it is definitely a bit tighter, but I do have these thick mud flaps. I thought about getting different ones, but I actually kind of like them for the amount of gravel I do. Don't get beat up or anything. So you can see that just clears there. I had to move one bolt off the mud flap. But like I said, these things are freaking like three quarter inch sticks. I mean, you didn't have flaps. You could go bigger all day. But these are kind of just the perfect fit. And like I said in the spring when I got this thing, plan is get some more aggressive, bigger size on here. Probably keep these wheels because they do go pretty good on this truck. Love white letters and chrome. Chrome. Gets you more down. Chrome. Gets you home. Chrome. Makes her moan. That's everything you need to know about chrome, fellas. They won't teach you that in high school. I think an OBS really pulls her off nice. I actually curbed these ones a bit in the Tim Hortons parking lot the one day pulling a trailer. Took her a little wide, but that's pretty minor. And for those who don't know, like a metric 285, 70, 17, that works out to about a 33. It's like a 32.7 by 11 inch. Uh, just kind of standard comparison for you guys. But it's like I said, it's pretty much all you can kind of fit on a truck like this, keep it practical and everything like that. So like I said, I have almost 10,000 clicks on these tires now, so I should be able to give you guys a decent and honest review in my opinion. Uh, so for the most part, I love these tires. In the summer, they're really good. They hold up nice on gravel. They don't throw stones too bad. On the highway, they're not stupid loud or anything. I mean, they're not quiet. Like obviously they're, they're an aggressive enough tire, but for the most part, they're pretty quiet. And as far as how these tires perform in snow, we haven't had a lot this year, but I mean, we, we have had some. I think so far they're pretty good to me. Uh, I mean, they're not a designated winter tire, but they are winter rated. So I run them all year round. A lot of buddies around here do that. But I mean, like everyone and their dog out here has these tires, so it must be good for something. And for anyone who's thinking about moving up to a bigger size tire in the truck and just wondering what am I do to your fuel mileage, I can give you guys a bit of insight on that. So before I had 265, 70, 17s and went up to this size, uh, probably before I could easily get like 14, 15 liters per hundred on the highway. And now it's probably more like 17 or 18. So gained about two, three liters per hundred, uh, which isn't a big deal to me. I mean, at my age, that's pretty low on the priority list. So it doesn't keep me up at night. But yeah, overall guys, I've been pretty happy with these tires as far as fitment, uh, looks and performance and ride quality, all that stuff goes. No complaints there. Uh, before I end this video, I did want to show you guys something. I did end up getting a new bumper on this thing. Uh, it's only a hundred bucks, but I bought it off a guy I knew. She's got a nice mirror finish on her and see your tips a little bit better. Yeah, it kind of goes pretty good with the truck and everything. A little bit more of an old school look. Like I said at the start of the video, guys, thanks once again for a thousand subs. Always wanted to hit it, so it's awesome getting there. Finally monetized. Um, uh, apologies for really slacking off on the videos and even Instagram. I honestly haven't been on, been on the app for a long time. I uh, just been I actually started school again back in the university as of September and then we were in harvest there through summer so just kind of one busy one busy thing to the next really also got an old lady now believe that or not so that's taking up some weekend time and stuff but yeah I'm gonna try and get some videos out there get a little more on Instagram and yeah I don't know I've actually kind of uh, got quite a bit of interest in TikTok now I kind of thought it was pretty 
weird app at first, but you get on there and you find the right find the right people on there. It's pretty entertaining. So let's see. Might take some might take some content over there, a little bit of back and forth. But yeah, stay tuned for some more, guys. Uh, thanks again. Keep up what you're doing. Catch you in the next one.